Hey y'all, here I am sitting in my car, just got me some Starbucks. Got me a iced coffee with um, stevia and heavy whipping cream. And those are both approved on ketogenic diet. Of course, <clears throat> Starbucks is a little heavy handed on the whipping cream. And it's like a treat for me. But more about this ketogenic diet. Um, I have to really make sure I'm getting in enough fats. I didn't realize that it's kind of hard to make sure I'm getting enough fats in. I went to Trader Joe's and I bought some coconut oil and butter. Well, I already had butter at the house, but they recommend the Kerrygold butter. And when I made coffee this morning, I put a tablespoon of butter and I put a tablespoon of coconut oil in my coffee and I put two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and that's considered a, I think a bulletproof coffee. So it makes it a high fat coffee. They also said that liquid stevia is better. So I picked up some of that at Trader Joe's and I meant to bring that with me to Starbucks. Um, and then I forgot. So I, I did buy a bottle to keep in my purse and I forgot to put it in there. But so far today I I had the I had coffee and then I have these Premier Protein shakes and I had one of those and I added some coconut oil to that. And I added some melted butter, but then it as soon as it hit the cold shake it kind of hardened back up so I was eating little bitty chunks of hardened butter with that, but oh well. I learned I won't be doing that one again. And I've had some boiled eggs and I had some baby bell cheese. And then I had another boiled egg this evening and some leftover shrimp and a couple bites of steak that I had last night. And I'm going to go home and either have some more eggs or some other kind of meat and you know go from that and then start over tomorrow they said with the ketogenic diet though main thing is keep your carbs under 20 and for the first couple of weeks don't really worry too much about anything else just as long as you stay under 20 eat whatever else you want just to give your body time to adjust because you're trying to get your body used to burning fat rather than burning carbs, if that makes any sense. And I have seen so many success stories with that and seen, um, I've watched people's YouTube channels and they have lost incredible amounts of weight. I've watched a lot of people that don't even need to lose weight that do this as a lifestyle. Um, it gives them a lot of energy. They said when you do begin, sometimes you can get what's called the keto flu. Or you have um, similar symptoms like if you had the real flu. And they were giving suggestions on how to combat that. Like taking maybe some magnesium supplements. Making sure you get some extra salt in your diet. Basically replacing some electrolytes. Oh, taking some, I think, vitamin B and some, uh, I said mag magnesium, oh, potassium. Like maybe some low doses of potassium to kind of help with that. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Hopefully I won't have too much of that since I was kind of already doing that to begin with. I just wasn't getting in as much fat as, um, as this diet's requiring of me. And I don't need to worry about getting as much protein as I was the other way. As far as carbs, I was already trying not to eat as over 20 carbs as it was. So that, I think I've gotten past that. Thank God. 
um, getting through the first few days of going without carbs is pure hell because your body goes through withdrawals because it, I mean it's like freaking carbs is sugar and it is a it is a truly freaking addiction but once you can get through that get through the first few days even the first week or so then it's really not so bad and I, I, do, I do notice I don't crave that so much. And even when I was in Trader Joe's, even on one of the videos, a girl was showing a, there's a chocolate bar at Trader Joe's that you can get and have some of this chocolate bar that's uh, low in carbs. And I didn't even want to get that. I didn't even feel like a craving, like I, that's something I would want. Of course, I'm sure later on, you know, or at some point, I will want something sweet. Right now, if I do want something sweet, I keep sugar-free Jello in my refrigerator, and also keep uh, Cool Whip. They do say you can have some Cool Whip. Um, just, you know, just a couple tablespoons, though. I did learn. I've learned though diet sodas. You really don't want to do a whole lot of those because certain artificial sweeteners sugar so you want to be real careful they said basically one of the best artificial sweeteners to use is stevia because it's a natural it comes from a natural fruit or a monk, monk fruit is supposed to be a really good one but it's hard to get and they were saying you can find it on Amazon but it's super expensive and then there's sugar alcohols, and one of the big ones is erythritol, and they said that's pretty expensive too. But you got to be careful with those because they can cause diarrhea. So as I go on, I'm going to just keep learning, and the big learning is going to be from other people. Um, <clears throat> I even learned <laughs> yesterday I saw a recipe on how to make uh, pancakes using just basically just eggs and cream cheese so I want to give those a try and see how they turn out that sounds pretty cool so I'm gonna share with you this journey and as I find recipes and see you know how they turn out and let you guys know how they are and if you're interested you could try them out um, anyway but I do plan to eat a lot of eggs. Eggs are a big thing with keto. Eggs seem to promote weight loss. It's so funny though with this diet. This is something that has always been such a big no-no. Just -no, not eat all these fats. But it's actually now been proven that if this type of diet is actually good for you. Um, so, but... With that being said, it is better to make sure with your doctor that that's okay and have some lab works done, lab works, lab work done from your doctor to make sure that that's okay, that they're okay with you doing this type of diet. But I didn't really do that and I'm just doing it on my own and because there's probably a lot of doctors are out there that really aren't familiar with it and not on board and I don't want a doctor telling me that I can't do this. I want to be able to do it, lose weight, and then see the results and then say, wow, what are you doing? Anyway, that's all I have for right now. I hope you guys are having a good evening and I will keep you updated. Bye for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.